Bia no en mang marigo en cette ici. Ça c'est un, un place qui bien important. Mangrove forests are a very important ecosystem, especially in the island states such as the OECS. As the OECS, we continue to promote and advocate for environmental sustainability, and increasingly we can see, you know, it's even greater importance. One, with the situation of resilience, we know the, that we face a tremendous vulnerability to climate change and other impacts. And right here in this mangrove uh, ecosystem, it is really one of our key tools to fighting this uh, vulnerability. Mangrove stands or mangals are also important nurseries for fish and other species, many of which are of commercial value. So you'll find that um, the estuaries or the bays where you get mangroves, you, they, they serve as nurseries for fish, for crabs, for even for lobsters, because the, the, the nutrient cycle which is taking place, like the falling leaves that decay in the water, you know, produce, re, um, release nutrients which are consumed by smaller organisms which are eaten by larger organisms, etc., etc. It's a place that is poison. It's poison, it's there where you can, you can do something, you can take it, and it's poison, it's a fish, it's a fish, you can do the life. In some mangroves you get fishes like the tapon, what do you call the guanicai, that, um, that tend to frequent at a certain part of the life cycle they might, they might live in, in, in or near the mangrove and so on. It's also a cultural uh, service, if we look at it in terms of a cultural function for St. Lucia and some of the Eastern Caribbean countries. Crabs are a source of food for communities as well as the, the a traditional knowledge and a cultural aspect for us. The mangroves play a significant role in terms of um, helping to conserve our, our shorelines, helping to um, serve as, uh, you know, essentially your, your last line or first line of defense. In the OECS, most of our communities are along the coast and mangroves serve to protect these communities from wave action, especially when we think of hurricanes and, and storms and strong winds. Where you get black mangrove, some, some people say that the black mangrove, uh, their, their flowers are good for, for bees. So, you know, when the bees forage, they, they, they will sometimes frequent the, the, the black mangrove trees, which, you know, produce good pollen, which, can, which of course, the, the bees use in honey production. Uh, aussi, mangla, uh, ça a différents mondes qui servi, you can fait cher bon, you can fait ça a différents bagages, so it's bien important. You, you found across the region, and in St. Lucia in particular, where we are right now, that over the years, mangrove swamps have been thinned out, sometimes for charcoal, sometimes to allow for construction and so on. And, and sometimes mangrove swamps are filled in because they're considered to be breeding grounds for mosquitoes and so on. That is unfortunate because the role that mangroves play in protecting our coastline in terms of helping to guarantee our food resource and so on, it far outweighs any perceived nuisance value that they may have. Mangroves are excellent carbon sinks. They take in carbon. We know most all trees take in carbon and put out or well, respire um, oxygen. But mangroves in particular, because they are long-lived, because of those in, intricate root systems, are able to sequester even more carbon than the average tree. And they also help to purify the water, the coastal water because sediment which is in the water settles between the roots and in that way they also help to create new land so to speak. Mangroves also provide this intermittent kind of uh, environment. So we know we have the salt water which we know is what our oceans and seas are made out of and normally we'd have fresh water um, resources as well. Mangroves are the place where those two meat. Mangroves are able to withstand high amounts of salt, but also high amounts of fresh water. Of course, different mangroves are able to take on different salt tolerance. So red mangroves, which is what we predominantly have here, they are able to take on the most salt. L'année manque comme ça différents places, uh, l'OICS là, différents pays, avec nous voulons encourager tout le monde pour manager yo bien, protéger yo, parce que yo là pour bénéficier nous tous. As we promote greener and bluer economy approaches, uh, you know, this is one of the resources that would be very critical in this arsenal. 
and um, as we continue to promote resilience against vulnerability, it also um, is a national in our in our fight. The biodiversity support program in ACP Coastal Environments, which we call Biospace, is a project that is funded by the European Union. We received a grant from the European Union in the amount of 10.7 million euros. The Biospace project will be assisting the OECS member states in looking at activities which range from looking at the value of coastal species, you know, from reef looking at um, possibly the harvesting of crabs and regeneration, but essentially helping the countries to effectively manage those coastal and marine resources to ensure not just conservation but sustainability so that the countries in the region and its peoples could benefit from the livelihoods that we depend on um, from these resources.